Hey guys, welcome back to Wreck It Rob's RC. Uh, last video, I think uh, I was finishing up the Havoc. Got that all done. Just waiting for a decent weather to do the Maiden. Um, but I am going to do a, a new project. I uh, got here a Siegel model P47 giant scale uh, Razorback. Um, pretty excited to put this one together. Always been a big fan of the P47, especially the Razorback. Uh, I'm going to be putting a Sato 60 R3 in this. Uh, same engine that went into the Corsair, um, which flew really well. Plenty of power. Uh, so excited to do another one. So we'll do an unboxing, see what's in the box, and then uh, talk about kind of what the build's going to look like. You guys want to see any of the information on the box there it is it's pretty neat it does come with the rockets the bomb the drop tank um, but we'll get her open and see uh, see what's inside all right guys Just took the top off uh, we'll go through it all um, I did get this from uh, VQ Warbirds um, who I believe is going to be legend hobby soon I'm not really familiar with that whole thing, but it was ordered from VQ. Um, I did order this Sierra Retrax for this pneumatic. Um, I should see those probably this week. Um, obviously, I'll show you a video of those when those come in, but i uh, got the top off. Let's uh, go through and see what we got. All right, looks like we've got this is new, a hat, 1998 Seagull Models. Not really much of a hat guy, but uh, I'm sure I can give it to someone at the club, probably rock that out. Obviously, got your manual. Um, actually looks fairly detailed, um, which is always nice. Um, so we'll see, this is my first Seagull kit. Um, well, let's see how the quality is. Take a look at it. Looks like there's some of the kits that they currently have, things of that nature. You know, you can see all that stuff online. Let's see what we got. All right. Looks like we got a decal set. Stuff actually looks pretty cool. Um, I thought it was a pretty unique scheme. Uh, Wicked Rabbit. I guess you don't see a lot of that every day, but you know, everything looks pretty decent. It's thicker. Um, I'll see what the quality looks like as the build goes on. May look to Cali graphics potentially, but we'll see. Um, but they're there. Looks like it's complete. So. This to the side. Now let's start taking this stuff apart. Alright. Looks like we got a wing. Let's see how it looks. Again, everything in the box looks like uh, it was packaged well. Uh, Obviously, we'll see once we get everything apart. But. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. Looks like it's actually got piano wire hinged uh, surfaces, which is pretty neat. Nice little touch, painting the inside of the wheel well. Um, you know, not something you get on every kit, but really nice thick gear mounts. I'll, uh, I'll show you an up close of it, obviously, but I do like the color, the green. So let's take a look here. So like I said, gear mounts, nice and thick does have outer doors does have a hidden flap servo with the linkage which is going to be kind of nice 
can see how that will go up in there. Pretty nice. Again, I'm pretty impressed that it's got a wire hinge. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but pretty nice. Color looks good. So, keep on. Try to be more gentle on boxing this time. When I did the Corsair, I had a couple people comment that it looked like I was uh, trying to rip open a box of Twinkies. But, <laughs> but anyway, so the other wing, same thing. Looks like it's in good shape. It does have the holes for the cannons. Uh, you don't have to cut the uh, covering for that. Kind of nice, I guess. But again, Hinged. Nice flap. Plenty of movement on that. It appears to be in pretty good shape. So, there we go. All right, see what else we got in here. We got the horizontals. Again, it appears to be hinged with piano wire. Again, I think that's pretty neat. Of course, you can't go wrong with low bar hinges, but let's see what we got there. So, again, I think at the price point, too. I think at this price point, um, you know, you get some pretty decent quality. Um, you know, obviously it's not a comp arf or anything like that, but um, I'm a flyer, so. But again, hinged, yep. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see it there. I got the little L bend for the hinge tape over it. So I think that's actually a pretty nice touch. Um, nice range, good deflection. Good. Check the other one. Okay, same thing, good shape. Engines work well. Got your slots for your control horns, always kind of nice. Obviously, you got your hole for your dis quick disconnect. Um, some of you guys that travel in uh, smaller vehicles, that'll help, but recessed, be nice. So, looking good. Probably trim back some of the covering just so you, well, maybe not, we'll see. Nothing too special here, but I'll tell you, you can see, so they got the hinge taped. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. So I do actually like that quite a bit. It's pretty neat. So looks like a solid rudder. Um, so, yeah. cool, salute.
looks like there is a whole bunch of little pieces. I'll kind of go through it all. Why not? I've got some better to do today. So this does look like it's the belly pan. Which goes uh, basically where the uh, supercharger is in the rear of the fuselage. This will be a vent underneath. Obviously that'll have to be cut out. Uh, not too big of a deal. I believe this is the cockpit vent. If, uh, but I'm not really sure it goes near the cockpit. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but we'll put it on for scale appearance. You got your seat. So some kind of aluminum tube. Looks like that was attached to the back of the seat at one point. So, guess we'll just have to glue that. Not a big deal. stuff um, see your detail actually looks pretty decent on this panel I'll show it to you guys here if I can open it without destroying it there it actually looks pretty darn nice Pretty impressed with that. Do a little dry brushing with some silver on the panel, kind of bring it to life, but uh, that's pretty decent, especially at the price point, so. This looks like these would be the exhaust exits. So these would have to be trimmed, put on the fuselage. Um, you know, this is where you can do some weathering with the airbrush, kind of give that exhaust look and help it out, kind of clean it up. Looks like back of the seat, it's got a cushion in there. So I would imagine that would have to be trimmed up, probably goes up there somewhere. These look like these are the outer gear doors. Again, painted to match the wheel wells, kind of nice. But uh, yeah, pretty complete kit so far. Got a lot of details that I wasn't expecting, which is kind of nice. Uh, I believe these are the bomb rails. Um, pretty neat. not entirely sure if these are removable um, as I go on with the build I'll definitely look into that um, but it does look like the screw would go eh, we'll see not sure but we'll find out like uh, received just a little bit of damage doesn't look like anything too bad that can't be fixed so let's take a look yeah it doesn't look too bad a little CA actually it does look pretty good but obviously the fins came off but Again, not a big deal. A little bit of CA, all fixed up. Clean break, probably just didn't apply enough glue. But pretty neat. It's got 
Maybe I'll love drab and probably uh, detail it up a little bit. But yeah, nice. pieces. I'll put this aside. kind of look at the manual real briefly it does look like it uses the simple string uh, where the re you know the um, actual gear will pull the doors in but you know this is kind of nice when you got the slots like that for the hinges um, it does make things a heck of a lot easier I can tell you that so those look pretty good when they come painted. I know most ARPs do do this today, um, but it definitely makes the job a little easier. You know, we'll do some um, weathering on this front end with the rivets, some dry brushing with some aluminum. Um, it'll look good. But one piece, positive. Alrighty, looks like we got the rockets. I thought was pretty neat. You don't see a lot of P47s with the rockets on. So. All in one piece. It has a nice little, uh, you know, level of detail. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny when you look at it. Looks like it's like a PVC pipe with um, zip ties. Simple, but actually effective. Um, again, a little bit of weathering on there, you wouldn't even tell, but uh, it's not something you see every day on a P47, so I thought that was kind of neat. But very, excuse me, very simple. Some PVC and some uh, zip ties. Two of those, obviously. It does come with mechanical retracts. Um, I can tell you they're not going to be used. Um, I don't think I've ever used mechanical retracts. Um, but, you know, if you're on a, if you're on a budget, um, you know, it looks like they do work, so maybe not. Oh, going the wrong way. So yeah, you know, they do function. Hey, they are suspension. Uh, not the best quality, but like I said, if you're on a budget, that they would work. Got your hardware bag. Let's take a quick look at this. See what we got. A fuel tank. I don't typically 
you ever use um, our fuel tanks. But I did notice something that was kind of neat. Um, it comes pre-assembled with the vent and also got the barbs on the uh, hose. That's neat. Um, if you're going to use it, that's at least a cool feature, but I always typically put in uh, my own tanks. But. So looks like you got some servo holders. I believe these are actually for the mechanical retracts. So you have to glue this in if you want to use the mechanical retracts, um, which I will not be. Not entirely sure what those are, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I imagine those are cannons. Um, could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Got your antenna. Must be uh, a powered antenna. That's a joke. <laughs> um, interesting way of using a, uh, looks like an EC3 male connector as a um, pin for the antenna. Haven't seen that before, but that's pretty neat if it works, we'll see. Looks like it comes up with some standoffs. Uh, they look pretty long, so maybe, um, Maybe this has a pretty good distance from the firewall to the prop hub. We'll see. But it does come with a uh, fairing. Pull bull cable. Uh, maybe these. These looks like some kind of alignment dowels. And uh, maybe those are the cannons. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll figure it all out though. Cable actually looks pretty decent. I know a lot of times on ARFs, your pull-pull cable is pretty substandard. Um, this actually looks decent, but we'll see. I know these collars are for the gear. Uh, that outer door will have two linkage rods. So when it opens and closes, those go around the struts. Hopefully they fit on the Sierra gear. I'll know more when I get it. And, uh, I have a feeling it might be for the bomb, the rail, potentially. I don't know, we'll find out, but more stuff. Lots of hardware. We'll see uh, what gets used, what doesn't. I'll share that with it as I'm building this thing on what I use and what I don't use. So we'll see. But lots of stuff. Makes funny noises. Cockpit detail stuff, control stick, mirror, um, some kind of fairings. I believe these are for that top of the wing, for that hidden flap uh, linkage. This gets cut out and covers that um, connector there. And then just more little detail stuff. All right, you got your blocks of wood, probably for mounting servos, your hinges, for your doors, uh, your control rod, um, excuse me, control horns, which are painted, uh, pretty nice. Uh, and that's something you see every day where you get painted control horns. So, getting pretty neat. I know this piece here is a guide for the throttle um, linkage, because they, you know, it's pretty far back, so this actually is a guide, so it's kind of guide the rod up until the front of the plane, but cool. And then we got the tail wheel. Um, I can tell you, um, you know, Sierra does not come with a tail wheel retract. So this is a mechanical one, and I'm hoping it works fairly well, because I probably will be using it. Looks like it's got a little bend on the steering piece of it, but should work. More 
than likely attempt to use this. Um, so hope, hope for the best. Uh, this is basically all of your supplies for the tailwheel, uh, the doors, the linkage, and the hinges, um, all in one pack. So. It does come with a accessory pack for an electric conversion. Um, obviously not running this thing on electric, so. Um, I'd say that's pretty neat. It gives you the triangle stock so you can reinforce this. Um, that's kind of neat. I always have a use for that stuff, so that's cool included. Got your Velcro straps in there. This would be the front of your motor box. So, probably not going to be used, but love spare parts. Cowl ring um, does have your mounting points for your um, cowl. Tell you what's kind of nice about this, I didn't realize, is the mounts for the cowl have blind nuts. Um, I'm a big fan of using, you know, rubber washers with blind nuts um, on my cowl. I'm not a big fan of self-tapping screws for the cowl. So nice touch. See how big this thing is. Plenty of room for the Sado in there, but nice touch with the uh, fly nuts. I do like that. Looks like we have the other bomb drop tank. I'll uh, just open this real quick to see, make sure this one's intact. And again, just gonna need a little bit of gluing. But uh, not a big deal whatsoever. Nothing's broken, just needs a little bit of glue. But again, pretty pretty scale, pretty decent. Um, I think it'll look cool underneath the wing. Um, so. Like I said, here's the drop tank. Again, kind of nice, you know, everything's painted. simple so again that goes on the center line of the fuse uh, just about underneath the cockpit so. all right got all your control rods um, appears to probably be about 440 I would say um, they're, they're fairly stiff, um, which is nice. Uh, you got your tickle, typical Dubro control horns there. Um, so yeah, it's all there. Definitely a lot of stuff in here. Probably getting tired of hearing me talk at this point, but. Like so, you got a servo mount. Um, I actually love these. Um, appreciate that they include these. Uh, this gives you. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Um, I would envision it's probably for the throttle, um, and I do like when it's remote, so I can locate it where it needs to be. Because I can tell you, the Sato radial has the carb on the opposite side of most uh, gas engines so if that is for the throttle that'll definitely make things easier looks like you have a uh, guide for drilling at each engine so it's got a e-flight gt60 evolution 62 da50 n62 dle55 and a turning g52 so that's it's actually pretty nice. Um, of course, I'm not using any one of those, so it's not really helping me, but if you are, um, that definitely makes install easier. 
And then I know this is the tray for the fuel tank. Um, where this is really nice is if you're running electric because you can actually put your batteries on here, go in and actually bolts in, goes under a tab up front. Um, so that's nice if you're running electric. Even gas, you know, gives you access to things. But um, again, pretty nice touch. Looks like these are the main doors. Tell you what, these suckers have some weight to them. It's obviously some kind of plastic I'm not really sure but um, so these are going to be the inner doors uh, these actually will have servos uh, operating these um, that will remain open when gear down close and gear up obviously it's like it's got a curve to it it's kind of nice I'm actually going to sneak a peek and see how that fits That's gonna need a little bit of love. That's all right. Yep, well, I'll take a little bit of work. Um, I can show you that when I'm done. But and then these are the uh, doors that get mounted right to the struts. So. Those look to fit really nice compared to the inner doors, but I don't think it'll take much modifying. All right, these look like the interior pieces for the cockpit. Let's take a look. Again, um, you know, not super detailed, but again, uh, not bad either, you know, um, better than just having it plain and boring. Um, you know, obviously you can add more to this, make it more realistic. I believe that's probably the floor uh, of the cockpit, so. your dummy radio uh, obviously I won't be using that with the Sado in there but again you can detail that stuff up help um, but definitely not going to use that Let's see what kind of wheels we got these actually don't look bad um, it's actually got a pretty realistic um, framework to the wheel Obviously, with some airbrushing, you can really make these look pretty good. Um, I like these because they are light. Um, when you use something that's pretty realistic, it gets heavy. Um, like the Corsair, I can't really see it there, but it's got the Robart wheels. It, it adds some weight, but I can work with these, make these look pretty scale. So, airbrush is your friend. comes with a pilot. Now if you've seen, wow, that, that thing's kind of heavy. That's surprising me. Eh? Now if you watched me do the, the assembly on the Corsair, the Phoenix um, pilots are, uh, leave a lot to be desired. And here's a Seagull one. Again, not top notch, but I think with some uh, flattening out of the gloss paint um, it's a lot better than the Phoenix one I'll actually I have it I'll show you well, tell me which one would you use <laughs> this one kind of looks like me no hmm? no not really 
could have had a, about a, probably 100 pounds. <laughs> anyway, um, good effort here. A lot better than Phoenix. Guys, step it up. That's, of course, this thing is probably four times as heavy as this thing. Again, completely irrelevant. Slightly crushed, no damage, just the way the packing was. Um, and probably need some work here. I think if we were to cut these out, um, be a little more scale. Um, you know, this this duct on the actual plane runs all the way back uh, to the rear of the fuse for cooling. Uh, so opening that up, you know, help it look a little more scale, but plenty of room. have no problem fitting a Sato 60 in there. Um, you know, some people ask, hey, why not the 84 or the 90? Um, I like to fly mostly scale. Um, the 60 the 60 flew the Corsair really, really well. Um, I did video the Maiden on that. Uh, it's not a good video, but at least it's a video. Um, and I think this is just gonna be slightly lighter. It is slightly smaller. Um, so I think the 60 is gonna do great. Plenty of room in there. Weather it up, put some silver, dry brushing around this, things like that's really gonna help this look pretty nice, so. Stands here. We'll open this ever so gently. Probably not. to uh, destroy everything while I'm doing this. Fiberglass firewall. I'll show you guys some of the stuff. It looks like a fiberglass firewall. Um, not crazy about these little uh, the bolt, the bolts for the cover here. Um, obviously, I think if I paint them, it'll help. But uh, yeah, I like to balance the flying with the with the scale. So uh, definitely nylon bolts. Maybe put a little uh, Allen head in there, a little shorter. We'll see. Covering looks like it's in good shape. Um, not perfect, but again, probably go over it with a heat gun. We'll just kind of tighten it up um, at the price point. Um, yeah, it, it's a good looking plane. Uh, especially since there's not a lot of P47s on the market now. Not giant scale, anyway. Alright. That comes off. Plenty of room for a cockpit. Um, you could probably really scale this thing out, um, if that's your thing. I balance the flying with the scale. Uh, but 
Not too bad, looks fairly sturdy. Um, doesn't really appear to be flimsy, which is nice. Um, but again, you could do a lot with, uh, with this if you wanted to. Um, I'll probably use what they've um, included, so. Let's take a look inside. Put that down gently. All right, let's take a look. See here. So you do have your tubes in place um, for your control surfaces. Um, obviously, you have servo cutouts, rudder servo, elevator, elevator. Uh, lots of options here for setup, which is kind of nice. Um, so I am gonna run pneumatic gear. Um, so finding where to put the air tank and things like that. Looks like there's a ton of room in here, so it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, again, fiberglass firewall pretty awesome actually um, digging that nice and thick uh, firewall plenty of support there lots of room no question about that and like I said it'll have that tray that will literally slide in for either your batteries or the fuel tank um, ton of room in here ton this one should go together pretty easy, so. But looks pretty decent. Um, probably be an amazing candidate to do some, um, to glass it. Um, I just, I don't typically have that much time. Um, I'm pretty impatient, but pretty decent. Excited. And that's all of it. So, should be a pretty interesting build. All right, guys, well, appreciate you watching. I think I babbled long enough. Um, but this thing's looking pretty pretty decent. Um, better than I anticipated, to be honest. Um, I think it's going to fly well. The 47s always do. Get the nice sound with the Sato in there. Um, so um, just waiting on servos, waiting on the engine, uh, waiting on pretty much everything at this point. And the gear. So once I get the gear and I kind of start going through everything, I'll, uh, you know, do a part one assembly uh, video. But uh, yeah, I think absolutely worth the money. Um, I would definitely, uh, definitely feel good about the purchase of it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, long video, but uh, we'll be in we'll probably, I don't know how long over all the glue joints uh, with glue. I just always like to do a little thin CA, just kind of glue everything. I will say it looks like it's got plenty of glue. Um, you can usually tell if it doesn't, but you see um, lots of traces of glue, which is a good thing. So, All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. More to come soon. Thanks, guys.